everyone i'll be teaching you today the basic concepts characteristics of parallel resonance circuits these are the characteristics of a parallel resonance circuits First is, current circuit is in phase with the voltage applied. Circuit What does in phase means? In phase means phase angle between the voltage and current is zero. Next is the circuit is resistive in nature. The circuit is resistive in nature because the phase angle between the voltage and current is zero. Three, the power factor in this circuit is unity. Unity power factor means it is equals to one. For four, admittance decreases the impedance increases for five if impedance increases current decreases I'll show you the relationship of impedance current and the power factor impedance increases at reson at resonance at resonance this is the z max where Z max is equal to R squared plus XL squared over R. Current decreases. So this is the graph of current decreases. Shows the nature of the current. I, I minimum equals to V over Z max. If we have the if we will if we will show the power factor it will be like this. Power factor max is equals to 1. These are the things happens in a parallel, parallel resonance circuit. 6 is where 
capacitive capacitive reactance is equals to inductive reactance number 7 total conductance is equivalent to the reciprocal of the total impedance number 8 total impedance is equals to the reciprocal of the total admittance number nine Admittance is equals to the conductance. And then total susceptance is zero so these are these are the characteristics of the parallel resonance circuits and this is the things that happens during the par during the parallel resonance circuit These are the frequently used formulas for parallel uh, parallel resonance circuit. So first is FR is equals to 1 over 2 pi squared of LC. This formula can only be used when can only be used when the circuit has a resistance that can be negligible. You will use this when the R in the circuit is negligible. Next is FR is equals to 1 over 2 pi times square root of 1 LC square root of 1 over LC minus R squared over L squared. This formula can is used when R and L is connected in series while is connected connected across a capacitance so i'll show you the illustration for where this formula can be used In this illustration is where our voltage source, resist, resistor, inductor, and capacitance, a capacitor, resist, res, resistance, and inductance is connected in series, while it is connected also across a capacitance. So we will use when the when the illustration on the 
problem goes like this we will use the formula fr equals to 1 over 2 pi times square root of 1 over over lc minus r squared min over l squared next is f next formula is fr is equals to 1 over 2 pi 2 pi square root of lc times times square root of crl squared over cr c minus l this formula can only be used when the par when the parallel resonance circuits r and l is connected to across a rc so i will draw i will draw the i'll draw or illustrate the the a diagram so this is R resistor resistance L inductor inductance and C Capacitor capacitance. There are two series. There are two series connection, but connected in parallel. The resistance and inductance, and the resistance and conductance. So if the f when the illustration goes like this, in the problem, you use the or you will use this formula. F R equals one over two pi square root of LC times CRL squared minus L over CRC minus L. Here's our sample problem for parallel resonance circuit. A coil of inductance, 3.18 millihenry with resistance of 120 ohms is connected in parallel with a capacitor across 250 volts 50 hertz supply determine the value of the capacitance if no reactive current is taken from the supply so let's let's first draw the diagram so a coil of inductance is a series connection of a resistor and inductor resistor and inductor connected in series and then it is connected across a a capacitor Resistance of 12 ohms, inductance of 3.18 millihenry, and the value of capacitance is unknown. Voltage source of 250 volts, 50 hertz. So, this is our problem diagram. So, how, how did we determine that it's a resonance parallel parallel resonance circuit because of this phrase if no reactive current is taken from the supply so this indicates that it is a parallel resonance circuit so since the given is 12 ohms resistance 3.18 millihenry inductance and connected in parallel with a capacitance so we will use the formula fr is equals to 1 over 2 pi times square root of 1 over lc minus r squared over l squared fr 
So, 1 over 2 pi square root of 1 over LC minus R squared over L squared. Sub then, substitute the values of FR 50 hertz equals to 1 over 2 pi square root of 1 L so L is 3.18 times 10 to negative 3 since it's a millihenry and unknown value of capacitance minus resistance of 12 squared over inductance of 3.18 times 10 to negative 3 then solve so 50 equals to 1 over 2 pi square root of 1 over 0 0.0318 C and minus value of 142399.4304 so cross multiply 98696 Point zero four four equals to three one thirty one point four four six five over C minus one four two three nine nine point four three zero four. Then you can solve now get the C. C is equals to one point three zero four three times ten negative four. Or 